Hello, and welcome to the program entitled Advanced MRI Safety Training for MRI Healthcare Professionals. This program presents essential information pertaining to critical MRI safety issues. My name is Frank Shellock. I'm an adjunct clinical professor of radiology and medicine at the University of Southern California, and I've been involved in the field of magnetic resonance imaging for more than 25 years. Besides conducting clinical and laboratory research, one of my primary areas of interest is to educate and to train healthcare professionals on the topics of MRI bioeffects, safety, and patient management. The content of this program is intended for healthcare professionals who work in and around the MRI system. These individuals include radiologists and other physicians, MRI technologists, imaging nurses, facility managers, and others. The utilization of MRI procedures continues to increase and scanners constantly evolve. To avoid problems or issues associated with magnetic resonance imaging, it is vital for you to have a comprehensive understanding of MRI safety information and to update, revise, and add to your existing guidelines in consideration of the latest information. This program includes recommendations and guidelines obtained from the latest peer-reviewed literature and documents developed by the Food and Drug Administration, the International Society for Magnetic Resonance in Medicine, the American College of Radiology, the Institute for Magnetic Resonance Safety Education and Research, and other organizations. During the performance of MRI, the patient is exposed to three variants of electromagnetic radiation, a powerful static magnetic field, time variant or gradient magnetic fields, and radio frequency fields. Of note is that if these electromagnetic fields are used at excessive levels, they can interact with the patient's body and potentially produce undesirable physiological changes. However, for the majority of the hundreds of millions of patients that have undergone MRI exams, only a small percentage have experienced problems, which have included minor to serious injuries and several fatalities. In general, these incidents occur due to improper uses of MRI technology and or from not following appropriate safety guidelines and procedures. 